Meet the Miles family from Selzy. Mum Louisa and Dad Peter have six kids. Aaron, Ryan, Emily, Sophie, Olivia and Sam. And five dogs. Four of them are fine. One of them isn't. He chews. He poos. He fights. No! He bites. The Miles family love animals. That's why they bought dogs Emma, Maisie, Millie and Lily. You'd think four were enough, but when Emily spied Lakeland Terrier Toby at a farm, she had to have him too. I love them lots. It was one of those situations you, you couldn't really say no. Could have. Yes, maybe they should have done, because Toby has a short fuse. Since dog number five exploded onto the scene, chaos has reigned supreme in the Miles household. Toby is a dog from hell, a devil dog. He chews everything. Furniture, beds, toys, socks, his own basket, the skirting board, he even chews walls. Toby's absolutely destroyed everything. And he poos everywhere. Toby poos probably three times a day, all in the house. He'll just do it in the most awkward places, right by the back door. So when you're walking in the evening, you're highly likely to just slip straight over in a big pile of steaming Toby poo. Oh, no! Who was in here? Stinky dog. If it's dark, you won't see it. Your friends come in behind you. It's smelly and it's embarrassing. In my room, he's, he always does, like, runny poos. He's a horrible pooer. There's poo and there's also food. Toby nicks it. And then fights for it. <laughs> Disturbingly, he also nips people. Toby! Well, blokes. Toby! Particularly tall ones. <laughs> Toby, come on! His disdain for men even extends to Peter, whom he completely ignores. Toby? Toby? But perhaps worst of all, Toby leads all the other dogs astray with his bad, bad habits. Determined to be leader of the pack, this little dog with a big Napoleon complex is always the first to bear fangs at other dogs. And stirring up trouble, Toby's always the ringleader. He is the worst behaved dog I've ever met in my life. We've had a few dogs and none of them have been like Toby. He's just awful. Things have now come to crunch point. Toby just throws a big furry spanner in the works and it makes having him not a pleasure. Toby does cause quite a few arguments between Peter and myself, especially the pooing and wing, because obviously Peter walks in on that first thing in the morning and he can't bear it. I'd like to be able to get up one morning and come downstairs and open the door and it's just a poo-free zone. If Peter had his way, Toby's days would be numbered. It wouldn't be a problem for me to get rid of him, but I'd have to live with the consequences. The four younger children would be beside themselves. I think we'd have to sleep with one eye open, with <laughs> where Emily's concerned, because we'd be a contract put out on us, I think. But if he doesn't improve, he will have to go. Who better to sort Toby out and keep him with the Miles family than dog trainer Victoria Stilwell? When you take on a lot of dogs, you also take a lot of responsibility. And when one of your pack is causing problems, you owe it to him and to the rest of the dogs to get to the heart of the issue and sort the problem out. Naughty Tyke Toby is a Lakeland Jack Russell cross. Confident and courageous, Lakelands are often great with children but tend to guard toys and food. Loving but spirited, like any dog, Jack Russells can be aggressive with other dogs if not socialised early on. No! Both these terrier breeds are working dogs, and so, with the right training, they're quick to pick things up. 
but they can also be feisty and willful. And that's certainly the case with Terrier Toby. Hello. Hello. Hi. Wow. <laughs> lots of children, lots of dogs. Hello. This is Toby. This is Toby. OK. What do you want me to do? We want you to make him better. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's a lovely dog, but obviously he has got severe issues. Mm. And we just want you to show us how to, to mm. help yeah, him. To keep him. To keep him. First off, Victoria wants to see for herself how Toby reacts to male visitors. Through the gates, it's Ryan's friend, Josh. You see how he stirs the other ones up? Mm. Is there always that reaction to him? He has had the reaction to Josh before, like that, yeah. Really? Yeah. Things get worse when the neighbour calls. I think this is extremely worrying. To see the intensity of that is extremely worrying. I think this is a really serious issue that you've got. Next, it's tea time at the Mileses. So when you eat, Ryan, do you always eat with Toby right in your face? Yes. When you're actually putting the food into your mouth? Does he, he steal it? it out tries mouth. to take it out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Any food within his reach is fair game. Leave it! Doesn't really listen, does he? Ah, he's just helped himself to sandwich. And with Toby, it's finders keepers. Whoa! OK, you know what? Don't run around with the food, OK? Victoria's quick to intervene before anyone gets hurt. Sorry. Not having a dog attacking another dog. Good. Good. Emma. Yes. Upstairs, okay. Toby's left a trail of destruction. And this is ah. some of Toby's work. He's ah. torn the end of the bed. He's actually done the other end as well, but Peter doesn't know about that bit, so I've just sort of switched the bed around and he's sort of done this as well, over here. OK. Um, these are a few more of his little handy bits. All of the knobs around the house have gone off the furniture. This was actually plugged in when he oh. um, chewed this. Ooh. So um, he's lucky that oh my it didn't goodness. get blown up there. Do you hide a lot of evidence then? Does it cause a, a bit of friction? Yeah, I do. I do sort of hide as much as I possibly can and if I come in and find chewed up toys from the children or shoes or whatever, then I do sort of get rid of them because it does cause a lot of an issue between mm. Peter and myself. OK. Does Peter see Toby as your dog? Toby is my dog. He's not... He hates Peter. Because of all the poo, the feeling's oh. mutual. I see. Ooh. Mm. Yes, now this is, uh, this is typical of what you might find around the house. And are the dogs allowed upstairs on a regular basis? No, they're not meant to come upstairs, but they do sneak upstairs when your back's turned. Mm -hmm. And we can't keep an eye on Toby all the time. How would you explain your relationship with Toby? It is a bit of a love-hate relationship. Mm -hmm. Hate most of the time. Mm -hmm. the, 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 this side of him is just not acceptable. <laughs> A ton of trouble at home. Victoria wants to see how Toby behaves when he's out. How many times a day do you walk them? It was once a day, but Toby starts all the dogs off. If he sees another dog coming in his direction, he'll start getting a bit aggressive towards them, which then in turn starts all of these off. It's sort of three times a week now, because I have to have Peter with me. So Toby gets out three times a week? Yeah. About. OK. OK. The reason Peter and Louisa are so loath to take Toby for walkies soon becomes apparent. Toby's only getting three walks a week, and that is nowhere near enough. His aggression towards men, his aggression towards other dogs, his pooing in the house, his chewing in the house, it's all linked. And Peter and Louisa have to start to understand the situation and deal with it. Time to talk tough. When I see a dog that's biting, I see a dog that is very, very unconfident. Aggression comes from fear. That's the very root of aggression. Because ultimately, a dog has to survive. And if a dog feels threatened, it will do what it can to survive. Dogs that suffer with aggression, such as Toby, have really, really low stress thresholds. It just takes that, boom, for the dog to react. 
And the way you treat aggression is that you work with the dog to maximize that minimum stress threshold. So instead of him reacting at a moment, it takes him a little bit longer to react. And that is how you treat aggression. If he goes to bite somebody or if he misbehaves, if we, uh, the sort of instant reaction is to shout at him, does that just give him more and more anxiety? Mm. There's no, no point in shouting Because he was him. doing what he's supposed to do. He's getting that scary person off him and, then we're and you him tell him off for that. Yeah. I think you inherited a dog at 14 weeks old that already had had some sort of trauma happen to him that has caused him to dislike males. When you start giving different signals to your dog, your dog picks up on it. That's why it's so important that you have to alter your behavior to help your dog. So it's retraining us as well as the dog, really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now he gets the big picture. Peter has a change of heart. I now feel sorry for Toby, whereas before Toby was a, a pain, he was the problem. But now she's explained that he is a scared little dog, then obviously I feel sorry for the little thing. With the whole family on board, Victoria begins day one of training, starting with the kids. Chocolate cake. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> now. Everybody take a piece of cake. But you're not allowed to eat it, not yet. <laughs> you're only allowed to eat it when I say, okay? Don't eat it. Don't eat it till I say. Now what happens if I said, all right, you are not allowed to eat those cakes. You've got delicious chocolate in your hands. I'm eating it. I can eat it. Well, I can do what I like. <laughs> But you're not allowed to. When Toby's around you, when you've got food in your hands, this is what it feels like to him. It's almost the like... The message that. starts to bite. Eating with tightly coiled Toby around is more temptation than the stressed out mutt can bear. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So from now on, you guys, when anybody's eating food in here, Toby has to be in the other room, OK? So he's not tempted because it's just not fair. <laughs> Every year, thousands of dog owners come unstuck by taking on more dogs than they can deal with. If you want to add to your pack, check new dogs will get on. Work hard on basic training, but most of all, never, ever bite off more than you can chew. The Miles family certainly did when they got Toby. A year on, his bad boy ways are seriously affecting his fellow dogs and humans. High up on his hit list of horrible habits is pooing. Stinky dog. Inside, everywhere, indiscriminately. He's a horrible pooer. There's only one surefire way to tackle house training. To stop Toby from pooing and weeing in the house, he has to be taken outside on a walk five times a day. So therefore, he needs a schedule. Toby's poo, wee and walk schedule. If you stick to this, your dog will poo and wee less inside your house. I guarantee it. Any dog that wasn't house trained from an early age will have to start learning from scratch. Frequent walkies mean lots of opportunity to poo al fresco. But no dog will settle for cold concrete when he's used to pooing on soft carpet. So make sure you find something tempting like soft grass. The extra exercise will soon start to pay off. But taking Toby out five times a day is tougher than it sounds. He hates other dogs, and when he's out with his pals, he creates merry hell. Victoria decides Toby should be walked on his own until the hell raising's been curved. Toby, watch me. Good boy. After that, it's all down to getting and holding his attention. Toby, watch me. Oh, good boy. OK. You've seen another dog. All I want you to do is just walk a little bit towards the dog. As the dog comes near to you, get his attention, sit, and do the watch me. So go for it. Make him sit. Toby, sit. That's it. Good Keep his boy. attention onto you. That's it. Good Lovely. Boy. Good boy. Lovely. Very Toby. close. Good. Good. Boy. Toby seems to be getting the idea with Louisa, but can Peter pull it off? Peter, I think it's important that you bond more with Toby, because I know he's a little fearful of you. Yeah. 
swimming. All right. That's... Good boy. Good boy. So keep his focus. They have to let Good him chew. Boy. Not don't let him have it until the dog's passed. Good boy. Good boy, Toad. Lovely. I'm very pleased with how that training just went, and I think Toby responded very well. But I think it was easy. When we add more dogs, that's going to be the test. But Toby doesn't just have to overcome his dog hating. He's got a real problem with blokes. Victoria has a plan. She wants to show Toby men can be all right. From now on, they'll dish out chicken whenever they walk past. Good boy. That was a big bit Toby. Oh, <laughs> good boy. Wow. Men are great. Boy. boy! Now I've got three men lined up in succession. It seems to be working a treat. Toby! Oh, yum, yum, yum! Thank you! OK, let's go down. Wow! With the man distraction method going well, Victoria wants to raise the bar. It's back home for a face-off with a bloke in Toby's own backyard. Because we're now on Toby's territory with a man that Toby doesn't know. He's just coming up behind us, that's right. Okay. Even on his own patch, Lovely, Toby's walk, love of chicken seems to be greater than his loathing of men. Just chuck him a bit of chicken. Toby. Good. Lovely. OK. That's it. Just look at him and look away. Don't keep looking at him. Lovely. Toby. Grab. OK. We just stand and chat. He could growl, he could become aggressive, but he's not. He sees the man as a source of really good things. In the space of a morning, we've gone from Toby growling at men to actually eating chicken out of a strange man's hand in his own driveway. I'd say that's a real result. If you could work with 10 different men a day, for example, and get them to do this, then you're exposing him not just to one man or two men, you're exposing him to hundreds. So months, months down the line, he doesn't see somebody's approach as fearful. He sees it as, here we go again, this is chicken time. Using treats yeah. creates a positive association with what used to scare Toby, reducing his anxiety and changing his behavior. Using fun is another. Victoria takes the Mileses to a fire station to show them what can be achieved by using play as a training reward. Leave that to burn. Hattie's trainer, Baz, starts one of these fires with petrol. Put it on now and... She's off. Cool and calm, Hattie identifies the petrol fire and waits next to the right pot. Hold. Hold. Her reward and motivation? Good girl. A simple tennis ball. Yeah, Inside the fire station, Baz gets one of the children to secretly mark a boot with petrol. That's it, that nice mark there. Good job. Good fun. Just that click just sets her off. Can Hattie find it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> of course she can. Yeah, well done. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now, Baz, when you start training, you just use a ball, don't you? Yep. The it's ball just... is the reward. Yes. So we're just going to play with the ball with him, OK? And see if he gets motivated by the ball. Oh, that good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> he was a dog being very aggressive and biting. And here's Baz playing with him now with a ball. Baz is now being associated with something fun and good. It's a good game. That's the key to all of this training. I'm going to leave you now, and you're going to work at it. And when I come back, I'll be looking good forward to seeing good what's boy. happened. Good boy. Good boy. The last couple of days, we have made amazing strides with Toby. He has come on leaps and bounds, and he's now seeing men in a different light, that they're not scary, that actually really good things come from them. The family have got to work hard. 
Toby's problems are not to be taken lightly and they have to be committed for this to work. The Miles family now have two weeks to practice Victoria's Toby techniques by themselves, starting with fun. Because Toby's aggression stems from fear and insecurity, the family spend time playing with him to lower his stress and boost his confidence. Toby, sit. It doesn't Toby, take long sit. before Toby's more comfortable around other dogs. Toby, watch me. Toby. Good boy. And with Toby. men. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Toby. Toby, watch me. Toby. Toby, watch. But Toby. the combination of a man Toby. and a dog sit. proves a bit Where much. Toby, Toby, hello. Toby, now sit. Watch. Dinner times are a pleasure and now Toby and the others are kept away from food. Home is becoming a poo-free zone. Now Toby gets regular family walks. And spending time together mean Peter and Toby are at last becoming pally. Two weeks later, and Victoria's Hi. back to check on the Hi. family's progress. Smells good in here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, so. that's a picture of domestic bliss. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's a new dog. He's a pleasure to have now. So, Toby and you have made friends. Oh, yeah. Very definitely we've made friends. He wants to come for a walk with me because he likes me. <laughs> Does that make you feel good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's gone from a dog I didn't care for at all to someone I actually sort of care for quite a lot now. Toby's doing well, but up till now still hasn't managed to conquer his fear of man plus dog. Will Victoria be able to help him finally overcome it? This is it, the final test. Can you walk past this dog? It's touch and go. Good boy. Good As the boy, dogs Toby. draw closer, will Toby revert back to his bad old ways? Get Toby's attention now. Toby, Toby. Or ignore Toby. man and dog. Yes. That's Good it. boy. Good Lovely. boy. Good lad. Good boy. It's Good a breakthrough. Boy. Toby's relaxed to the point where he doesn't feel threatened anymore. Good boy. All is quiet. Good boy. That's really good. You have to work very hard, but that's really good. Good lad. I'm really pleased. Toby has become so much more confident around men and dogs, and that is because he's a lot less anxious. The family have put in a lot of work, and they've seen the results, and I couldn't have asked for more. At last, it looks like Toby's turned the corner and won a reprieve for life. He's so much calmer, uh, which has made a lot of difference to our family and our life. I don't come down at 6 o'clock in the morning to find we and poo everywhere so I don't have to clean that up so my days are starting off much better now. I really do like him. He won't go anywhere now. He's staying. 